This is What's That Sound, video podcast number two, Melody. In this podcast, we'll be thinking about elements of melody as they occur in music generally, but most, well, more specifically, the way they occur in rock and roll and pop styles. A lot of what I'm saying is taken from page 95 in interlude one of the textbook. When we think about melody in music, oftentimes one of the first things we think about is the idea of a scale. Uh, maybe when you were uh, studying uh, music in middle school or high school or studied an instrument or, or something, uh, you, you learned a basic major scale. That sounds like this. Now when musicians think about this, one of the things they do is they assign to each note in any scale, whether it's a major scale, whatever kind of scale we're talking about, what we call scale degrees. And that simply means assigning a number to each note in the scale. So this happens to be a C major scale that I'm playing here. The note C will get the number one, and every note following it will get the next uh, number sequentially. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we get to eight, that basically is the same note again, an octave higher or eight steps higher. So the idea of scale degree assigns a number to each note in the scale so that we can transfer that information that we find specifically in C major into whatever major key we want to uh, deal with, G or B flat or E or A, any of those. Um, the difference between say a major scale and a minor scale is the way in which this, the relationship the scale degrees have to each other. So here's the sound of a major scale. Now here's the sound of a pure minor scale. So in rock and roll, a lick that's based on a major scale might have this kind of sound. Whereas a minor lick, that kind of sound. Very different kind of overall affect, musically speaking, there between major and minor. For rock and roll lead guitarists and soloists, saxophone players, pianists, that kind of thing, there are a couple of other scales that are really important. One is a, a type of scale we call a pentatonic scale. Now the major and the minor scale both had seven elements in it. When we got to the eighth one, it was the same as the first one. But in a pentatonic scale, you've got only five notes in the scale. So a major pentatonic will sound like this. Notice that one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth note is the same as the first. That's where we get the pentatonic uh, 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 label from. And if we do a minor pentatonic, it sounds like this. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're back to one again. Um, if you're a fan of Southern rock, for example, you'll hear a lot of major pentatonic licks, uh, music of the Allman Brothers, maybe Leonard Skinner. George Harrison was really uh, um, enamored of the major pentatonic scale. Licks that sound like this. Okay, I mi mixed a couple of major scale notes in there, but that's the sound. Whereas minor pentatonic tends to be a little bit more like this. And with a minor pentatonic, you can also mix in the blue note there, or the, uh, this extra note, listen. And that note. Now that minor pentatonic scale Eric Clapton has made an entire career out of mastering and finding a million beautiful sounding licks coming directly out of that minor pentatonic scale. So between our major scale, our minor scale, 
our major pentatonic and our minor pentatonic, we have most of the elements that go into melody in rock music. Thank you. 